that day after the report was put in. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure if there's a word for that. It's like kind of boxing day. Um, uh, following up on the Secretary's remarks from yesterday uh, on, the, uh, on Russia, um, has there been any um, movement on either the uh, proposal that you have submitted or on arranging the Secretary's phone call with the um, Foreign Minister Lavrov? So as you heard from the Secretary yesterday, uh, we have expressed interest, we have made clear uh, to the Russian Federation uh, that uh, we are seeking a conversation between Secretary Blinken and Foreign Minister Lavrov. Uh, before the Secretary spoke yesterday, we had made contact uh, with our uh, with the appropriate Russian counterparts uh, to put in a call request. Uh, the Russians acknowledged that call request yesterday. Uh, we have continued to go uh, back and forth. Uh, as you know, Foreign Minister Lavrov uh, is in the midst of uh, travel, so I don't have any update to provide in terms of when they may be able to connect. Uh, but we continue to discuss that in the appropriate channels. Uh, among the issues that the Secretary outlined uh, that he would broach uh, with Foreign Minister Lavrov, uh, first and foremost in this case, uh, is uh, the continued wrongful detention of Brittany Griner uh, and Paul Whelan. Uh, as part of that, the Secretary said yesterday that we had put forth, uh, put forth a substantial proposal uh, and that he would seek to use that call. Uh, to attempt to move towards a resolution uh, on the basis of that substantial proposal. Uh, so the call, of course, has not happened. He has had, not had an opportunity uh, to seek to do that with Foreign Minister Lavrov, uh, but it is something that we are continuing to pursue, and we continue to expect that they'll have an opportunity to uh, speak in the coming days. Okay, but um, uh, presumably the substantial proposal wasn't submitted to Foreign Minister Lavrov. So I'm just curious if there's been any movement aside from a conversation, or do you not expect there to be any movement on this until, or until at least after uh, they speak? Well, let me back up. We have conveyed this substantial proposal directly and repeatedly uh, to Russian counterparts. We have done so over the course of several weeks uh, I, it had been our hope that with the uh, conveyance of this uh, proposal, uh, that we would be able, we would have been able to uh, resolve these cases um, before right. we got to this point. But, but is it your analysis, or is it the thinking of the administration that you, you don't think that the Russians will respond, or there will be any movement on the proposal until after conversation between Lincoln and Lavrov? I I will leave it to. Uh, the Russians to speak to uh, their willingness. Uh, it has consistently been our hope. We have sought to resolve these cases to see Paul Whelan, Brittany Griner uh, freed um, as soon as we started working these cases. Uh, so the fact is that we are now escalating this to the level uh, of the secretary in the hopes of moving this to resolution. But again, uh, this substantial proposal has been on the table for uh, weeks now. Uh, there is no reason to delay this. Uh, every single day that Paul Whelan and Brittany Griner uh, remain behind bars, uh, it is injustice compounded on itself. Uh, our goal is to see these cases uh, resolved just as soon as we can. La last one for me. Um, and you said that you still, you, even though you haven't heard back about the call, that you still expect it to happen in, in quote unquote the coming days. So. Um, does that mean that you still think it will happen before the weekend or before next week? I, I couldn't say. We're continuing to discuss logistics. Uh, I don't have anything specific to offer at this point. Jamie. 